we're gonna show you another method of mounting large prints. So again, I'm gonna go to fluted polypropylene. I'm gonna actually mount with the flutes. Now this four by eight sign, um, we're gonna actually do what's called the 50-50 method. One person can still mount, um, this is just a touch slower than the last one we did, but where it really excels if you're doing large pre-cut letters, uh, if you're doing channel letters, things of that nature, you can actually be a little bit more precise doing it this way. So what we're gonna do is we're still gonna use the end of the table to get the vinyl started, and it's gonna look a little bit like what we did on the one-third method. But we're not actually going to start our print just yet. So we'll use the end of the table to get the large paper backer going. And now we're actually going to work from the side of the table. We're gonna keep the vinyl tight to the roller. We're actually going to pull that vinyl back, keeping it straight, away from the tape paper. About 50% of your print, okay? Peel that vinyl all the way back. And I'm actually gonna use my handy cutter here. We're gonna leave ourselves, I don't know, maybe about a six inch leaf. I'm gonna cut this backer right away. Get it out of the way. Some of you guys may recognize this method because it looks a lot like the old standard hand squeegee method. So again, we'll just roll that right under. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. We're actually gonna get our vinyl going. We're gonna push it just like this right here. Come back up. Go back to where we started. Now again, doing it this way is just gonna allow us to stay on pre-cut letters. There we go. We're gonna get that started. We're gonna peel it straight away. Again, don't be afraid to stop and adjust. You don't wanna get outside your comfort zone. And there we go, 50-50 method, again a flawless 